Yo, what's up YouTube, YouTube world. I'm back here with another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit, something a little bit different. We're gonna be taking a look at this here. Troy built, custom built, ride a line more. I know it's probably one thing that stands out to you. Maybe even a, a few other things. So I had bought this ride line more off of Marketplace for 450. I have a Craftsman riding lawnmower. It's been nothing but headaches. I leave uh, that video uh, up maybe for a few seconds right about now. And um, yeah, that thing there is just a total piece of crap. This thing right here, um, it, it needs to be addressed. Uh, it's, it's a few little minor issues that needs to be done to it um it needs the blade sharpen most definitely okay so yes i know i said that this right here is a troy built riding lawnmower to be honest with you i'm not exactly 100 percent positive of what kind of um troy built this is like um a t1000 or a g 59 million i don't even know but I'm just saying that um, it's unknown right now. I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump into this video and uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so I want to go ahead and I want to give y'all like a walk around of this riding lawnmower here. Again, this right here is a Troy built. Um, it's unknown exactly what kind of Troy built this right here is. All right, we're going to get right up under the hood here. This right here is a 17.5 horse, 500 cc's. The gas tank, the outside of it, I'm going to take this little strap here off and I'm going to replace it with just some uh, zip ties or whatever. We're going to clean that up. Right here, I haven't really seen this on too many riding lawnmowers. All right, so if you read that right there, stop and pause the video if you need to. This right here is how you change your gears or whatever. I'm not sure if this riding lawnmower here is a uh, hydrostatic. I want to doubt it. Again, I'm not 100% positive. Right here, uh, you have your throttle. All that good stuff. Steering wheel's in the way, but anyway, yeah. Uh, then you have your little uh, ignition switch here. It came with this key right here. Anyway, I'm just gonna hang on to it. All right, so right now here, uh, this right here is to lower your deck and to raise it up. This right here is to engage, disengage, uh, your blades. We got the seat that come off my Craftsman ride lawnmowers. You can probably see right there. Uh, get this key out of the way. But yeah, we got to fix this right here. It's not really uh, bolted that good. I just want to get on it and, you know, test it out and stuff. This right here is the seat that uh, come with it. As you can see it's in pretty rough shape i've seen worse but it's got water up in it so we have this cool little z71 off-road right here we got these nice big old tires here i don't know what this right here come off of but anyway uh you got your little toe uh, thingy. I forget what that, that's called. You got your little cup holder. Right here you got um, your forward, neutral, and reverse. This has this little EverStart battery on here. Uh, the date on this battery here is May 2019. Uh, probably going to maybe put some more um, nuts and bolts on here 
they got uh, lock nuts and stuff on here. I wish I had some uh, greaser. It's some type of grease that you can uh, put on here. It's anti-corrosion anti grease, whatever it's called. We have this information. Stop and pause the video if you need to. Earlier, whenever I had got this, or well, after I got this, uh, Rod Lawnmower, yeah, um, I had noticed it was some. Probably can't see it, but it's a little bit. It looks like maybe it got hot right here. It, it's just for the headlight. That's all this right here is for. So I'm probably gonna uh, maybe splice in that and maybe rewire it a little bit and put some more of this uh, stuff right here back on, which uh, over here I had ordered um, some. I want to address this seat. The seat right here, it needs to be um, adjusted. Uh, did I say that? But yeah, anyway, yeah, it needs to be addressed. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start by uh, removing these thumb knobs here. All right, so I finally got the two uh, thumb screws, thumb knobs off of here. As you can probably tell that they need to be addressed. So I'm gonna hit them up uh, with the wire wheel. And we also have uh, these here that also needs to be addressed. Probably going to wound up uh, putting a little bit of never sees on here. All right, so I went ahead and I had cleaned these up here on the wire wheel got them all nice and shined up pretty good I got this thumb knob up in here if you would the problem is is the way that the craftsman seat is designed it's designed just a little bit different right here you can't get one of these little you can't get one of these bolts up in here and that's that's a huge 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 problem so I may have to wound up um, cutting this here. Hopefully not, because I really do need this seat and not wiggling and moving around. All right, so uh, I don't know if uh, y'all had seen or heard whenever this piece of plastic had fell down up inside of here. I'll move this out the way. It's a piece of plastic just literally just fell out. It's like uh, this here. I can't get it out. So what do I do? I guess what I may have to wind up doing is is probably just take, taking some uh, JB Well plastic bonder and we will JB Well plastic bonder onto this son of a bitch and it won't never come off again. All right, so um, I went ahead, I've been doing other stuff to this riding lawnmower. The blades on this thing here is very, very dull, as you can probably tell, very dull. And though these blades are not bent, they're just like, well, they don't look bent uh, to me. Yeah, I want to say these blades are damaged. Here's what I got right here. Y'all see it? And then we got this side right over here. We got to go ahead. We got to get the second blade off. So one blade down, one more to go. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blow all this grass out from up underneath the deck. So I'm just going to hit this here with a little bit of uh, WD. I'm going to hit this with a little WD. Won't hurt anything. 
God told me it was uh it was sitting in the weather, but uh I seen some little cloth pieces from a blue tarp. All right, I'm gonna hit this here with a little WD. All right, so I just grabbed a socket. I'm just gonna hold this uh, bolt here. All right, uh, I lost a nut, but anyway, it's down here on the floor. But look at that. All right, there is really rusted. I'm gonna hit up these terminals. Remove these uh, back tires here. And I'm doing this here. I'm gonna grease them up, loosen them up real good. All right, so here we have a bolt and a washer. The axle, it doesn't look to be in that bad of shape. Uh, I, I may uh, wipe it down. Yeah, it looks like it's got grease on it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hit this on up with a little WD. Slap a little bit of uh, never seize on here. All right, so uh, hold on one second. Uh, we're gonna slap the tire back on. Make sure we got it back on correctly. All right, so we got our uh, bolt here. We got it all cleaned up. We're just gonna apply a little bit of never seize to it. Sure that uh, this bolt here never ever gets uh, stuck on here. That's a decent little coat. Thread it on back in. This right here will ensure that um, this bolt here never gets stuck for whatever reason. And yes, I did clean up the uh, bolt in the washer. All right, so uh, I had bought an air filter for this ride line more. Um, I think I left a, my old air filter at my friend's house. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna crack this thing here on open. It comes with this uh, pre-filter right here. Let's do it like that. Let me know down in the comment section below um, if I'm supposed to put oil on this. Um, I was watching a video and anyway yeah they were saying put oil on this so um if i'm if i'm wrong let me know if i'm right still let me know all right so we got the uh new air filter in gonna latch that now gonna lock it in we got a brand new air filter on this thing. I also got this uh, Briggs & Stratton uh, fuel filter. I'm not going to put it on right now because the one that's uh, down here, that's it. It's real dirty, but, you know, it's the outside, though. But uh, it hasn't been running funny or nothing like that. Uh, it's doing just fine. Let's find something else to do with this thing. All right, so uh, you remember these blades right here? I got these things here off and everything. I cut my grass. I haven't even finished cutting my grass. 
uh, mainly because of uh, these blades. These blades here, they're not worth a damn. Got brand new blades. <laughs> you got the blades, and uh, right, right about now, I'm gonna give y'all a side by side comparison. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I got the, I got this pipe in here, obviously, and I'm about to crush it a little bit. I want the wrench to uh, fit up in here. Um, kind of snug. All right. That right there should uh, work just fine. Call this right here the universal uh, breaker bar. And I also got an end down here. This right here is what I use, which is a 15th, 16th uh, Craftsman. This right here is a old school Craftsman. All right, so we finally got these raggedy ass blades off of here. Thank God these things here are off. Uh, I'm so glad them things right there were killing me. I guess right by now, I wanna give y'all the main event. I wanna show you how this thing runs. It may look ugly, it's a beast. So, uh, just so that y'all know, I'm not going to give it no choke. The, it's all the way down to the very bottom. Alright. So, I'm going to press down on the brake for a key in. And let's see if it fires on the first um, try. So, uh, normally it does. No choke, okay? No choke. Now, again, I have not started this. It smells like a ride line more than me. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's let's fire it up again. Whatsoever. For this mower to be so old and everything, I mean, let me demonstrate on um, how well it turns smooth. This right lot more is custom built. It's some things that I can and cannot tell you about it, but um, yeah, it's it's a solid beast. This thing right here is solid. We're gonna take it outside because I know inside my garage, my workshop here, I know it may have like a little echo. 
So, uh, yeah, we're going to take it outside and we're going to uh, listen to how it sounds. Y'all ready to do it? I'm ready to do it. Got to put it in park. Check this out. So I right hear 17 and a half horse. This one is sitting right over here. craftsman old craftsman wow kind of disappointed me but uh anyway i got uh a tube and tires belt and everything for that but uh yeah it's right here this deck and everything it's solid i mean you know it's solid as can be um I mean, this right here ain't that flimsy stuff. I mean, it's made well. They don't make it like this no more. The, the hood, it's all nice and solid. And I want to say this right here is an automatic transmission. So, yeah. Got the new blades on there. I barely can see it, but yeah, we got them on there. Brand new blades, ready to cut some shit up. All right, so I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me, working on some old rusty junk. The best, paid $450 for this thing on Marketplace. So tell me what y'all think. Y'all think it was a good buy or you think it was a bad buy so that's it for now i'm mr whitezilla aka project by skills entertainment team productions and i will see you in the next video